Fire that started at an oil terminal in Feodosia port city in Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula, has been extinguished five days after Ukrainian missile strike. The fire that started on October 7, engulfed a total of 12 oil tanks, completely burning eight oil tanks. It also burned the buildings on the territory of the oil depot. As of 8 a.m. there's no fire on the territory of the oil terminal, Igor Kachenko, Russian-installed mayor of Crimea wrote on Telegram, adding, the situation has stabilized and is fully under control. Emergency services and our municipal enterprises are continuing emergency recovery work. It will continue until complete liquidation, Kachenko stressed. Ukrainian forces on Monday launched missile attacks on Feodosia offshore oil terminal, which is the largest in Crimea. More than 1,100 people were evacuated as the flames spread to more than 2,500 square meters, according to media reports. A resident of Kherson has posted a video cut from enemy UAVs over a short period of time showing how the Russian military is hunting civilians in Kherson. The video was posted on Facebook by Yuri Antoshchuk, a new media trainer and expert on information and communication internet technologies. Here is a cut of video from enemy UAVs in a short period of time how the occupiers are hunting civilians in Kherson. Antoshchuk wrote, According to him, dozens of explosives are being dropped on ordinary people cars, cyclists, minibuses, ambulances, firefighters and volunteers on a daily basis. Cursonets noted that these are not isolated incidents. It is already commonplace. Just like people drink coffee, tea every day, the Russians are deliberately hunting ordinary people in the city. The morning begins and Russian drones fly out to hunt. The animals are training on Kherson residents, and Toshchuk wrote. He explained that the Russian military invented a story and told themselves that any vehicle in Kherson is their legitimate target. And Toshchuk said that on some streets you won't see a single car in a day. The Russian occupiers attack every car that comes into their sight. And if they don't like the appearance of a passerby, they can also drop explosives on him. Well, they will justify any of their crimes with the phrase, legitimate target, he said. He also reminded that when the leaves fall, the Russians additionally remotely mine the streets. They scatter anti-personnel mines from UAVs, which can easily tear off a foot if you step on them. These mines are difficult to spot in the foliage and are targeting older people in particular. And Toshchuk also noted that in some villages near Kherson, it is impossible to drive in and out because all roads, landings and fields are sown with mines. In Kherson, the streets and roads are also being covered with mines. He added that the Russians write in their propaganda publications that we should also take care of ATMs and shops to force civilians to leave. But as Antoshchuk emphasizes, despite all this, dozens of projects are being planned and implemented in Kherson and other frontline communities in the region. People continue to work. As Ukraine Form previously reported, video evidence of another war crime by the Russian army was shown in Kherson. Russian drones hunting civilians.